I was hoping before the end he would actually say it. He would say the words. My dad, 94 years old, passed away the week before last. I got to be with him his last several hours when he became lucid. I was alone in the hospital room with him during that time and he looked at me. He couldn't speak, but he could see me and he could listen. In this section, the scriptures are clear. Paul is requoting Deuteronomy where God says, you don't have to search for me. You don't have to wonder where my words are, where my truth is. It's all around you. It's in the air. And if it's near you, you can respond to it. Six times in a short set of verses, Paul uses what's translated into the word righteousness. Paul seems concerned with how we enter into righteousness. The word dikaiosune is probably better translated as covenant, covenant membership. He begins by talking about God's offer of covenant and then finishes by talking about our response of covenant membership, of our belonging to family. And finally uses the same term, typically translated as justified, to say you are covenanted in to the family. You're justified. Did this happen to my dad? I believe it did. This passage says if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, then you'll be saved. That's what I was waiting for my dad to say. We couldn't talk those last few hours, but I'm not sure it mattered because he had spent the last several years entering into covenant membership. As God initiated his love, initiated a partnership with my dad. This is called salvation. And my dad responded in so many ways. I got to see it during this last year and a half. One of the reasons I'm so glad we've moved to Northern Colorado. I got to see my dad once a week. The nurse told me that he was about to pass on and I told him that God was right there waiting for him. He just had to say yes, let him take him. The years of asking questions about God, about seeking God, about reading books by Dallas Willard and C.S. Lewis culminate after a few decades of wandering, coming back. His last several months attending church three times a week, participating in the Eucharist, the giving of thanks, the receiving of the grace of God. He wasn't able to say it, at least not with his mouth. He said it with his life. He said it with his actions. My dad, a covenant member, my dad made righteous.